I think when you get an injury or uh, either big or small, um, for me at least, it's it's a problem and I need to solve it. Um, so I guess that in some way we're a lot of problem solvers that are athletes because that's what we want to do. You want to fix the problem that either it's you're not good enough or uh, your inner arm or outer arm is wrong or that's what makes you ski slower. But here with an injury, um, it's just a different kind of challenge that you got to overcome. You're used to the kind of setting or the mindset that it's a problem, but now it's just a different one that you've been or had before. So you're always scared of the unknown, and that's probably the hardest part about you don't know what to do now and you don't know how to fix it. Or, But you're also that way not alone, and that's the kind of the good part about reaching out to people around you to help you that way, because you still got to show up every day to do the work. But I guess the, the hardest part is the feeling that you're alone in this and you got to fix it by yourself and you don't know how to do it. So um, for me, it was also having the people around me that helped me um, also motivate me when when it is low lows um, to come do the work. and. And for sure, it's not always fun work to do the extremely boring, slow exercises, getting your knee or your injury back to what it needs to be. But I think also at the end, I know I'm really happy that I had success before my injury, because then I know kind of what I'm missing or what I'm missing out on if I stop now. Um, but it's also just the, the joy of doing what I'm doing. I'm super lucky and I want to get back to that. And I know I can get back to that if I just do the work. Um, and the good part also is that I'm not the first person that got injured in this game and I can take a look at the other people also see that they did it, so why shouldn't I do it?